Hello, this is Helman in Melbourne. What would you say your experience is in terms of seeing movies compared to mine? Awesome. <laughs> I, have, I have real good experiences right now. All right. Well, I have seen personally maybe 15 movies last year. Can you uh, tell us how many you I saw? I think I saw about 130. So, and you also do your own reviews online. Mm -hmm. So, today we would like to review the movie Kick-Ass, which is a comedy slash action comedy movie. Comedy superhero movie, based on a comic book of the same name. It's pretty popular. This is true. I've never seen the comic book, but uh, the only thing I have ever seen in regards to this movie is the reviews that I witnessed on TV. Did you uh, read the views from... Uh, <laughs> witnessed on TV. <laughs> Okay, what? What did you say? Yeah, I've, I've read some of these. I read Ebert's review, and it was horrible. Gave it one star and called it morally reprehensive. Okay, I have not read any reviews or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. So, I do <laughs> not think this movie uh -huh. was morally reprehensible. Is that what it's yeah. worth? I think. Well, I think Siskel, for one, is an idiot. It's I've Ebert. Roger, Roger Ebert. Oh, is that the one? Yeah, Siskel. Yeah, there, that shows my knowledge of a uh, movie mm -hmm. right there. I'm the average Joe. Hellman, on the other hand, is the superhero, net-crazed, robot, movie enthusiast, mental, psychopath. What else? Beep, boop, boop, boop. Robot! <laughs> um, what are you going to do with that Spider-Man doll? Can you <laughs> until we describe no, the movie a little bit more? You should more? do that now, though. I mean. Well, let me ask you. Okay, well. uh, <laughs> Mr. Hellman, if you could yeah. be any type of superhero, mm -hmm. what would it be? Um, cool one. Someone that people really like. <laughs> would you have yeah. a specific name and though? Saves a lot of people. Um, but would your superhero uh, have a name? Cage. Cage. <laughs> what would your Cage. special power? Cage Johnson. Cage Johnson. Yeah, that's wow. That sounds intimidating. Yeah, yeah. but the villains would be scared of that. <laughs> and my name would be uh, Master Cockblock. You'd rather take And over the what world. my superpower would be <clears throat> is a. Uh, Constantly cock blocking Mr. Hellman here from ever getting a woman. I think I would do a pretty <laughs> good job as but I've done a good job in the past. Usually you're trying to not cock block me. That's true, you're but uh, usually you Why run would away you want like to suddenly a change girl. to cock block <laughs> when you're trying to help? Because I think it would encourage you more to uh, yeah. fight against my evilness and you be the hero in the end and get the girl. Victory! Okay. Well, I would also like to yeah. say that uh, this guy right here mm -hmm. could cock block you all night long. Spider-Man could cock block That's right. anyone in uh, He's got he a He could cock block anyone anywhere. Well, they do <laughs> refer to you as the King of Corvallis, right? I uh, know, you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah, a little masturbation, down, down, some uh, cleavage five. shots. Yeah. There was even a boob grab. And it showed yeah. some African women's, like from out of National oh, yeah. Geographic's <laughs> titties. So that yeah, was also a good part. Because any good. movie that's going to show Sorry, titties is a good movie, in my opinion. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. There's something we agree upon. Um, what would you say about the character Kick-Ass? He's just an average nerd. He wants to be a hero, but yeah, he doesn't really have any gifts or anything, so he doesn't know how to go about it. So you relate to that character? Mm, I guess, yeah. Okay, Somewhat. I would agree. There's yeah. a lot of things in common with you two. You're more like Red Mist. More like Red <laughs> Mist? <laughs> yeah. That would be your equivalent. Be the Red Mist. Yeah. He was the guy that betrayed everyone yeah. <laughs> and pretty know. much ruined everyone's life. No, you're giving away the movie. Oh, uh, you can't say that in a movie. You're gonna ruin the movie for everyone. <laughs> You're Big Daddy. Yeah. Huh? He's Big Daddy? Oh, and she's, um, Pit Girl? <laughs> no, I'm not his daughter. <laughs> You're kick ass. I know, but no, we're talking about you guys. She isn't You're even in the <laughs> f 
Okay, okay. yeah, we can ask her that. All right. You're Big Daddy, though. Okay, I would be Big Daddy. Yeah. But uh, I don't think you should compare me to Big Daddy just because I'm what big. What about Nicholas Cage? Should we compare his, you? His acting abilities? Just him as a person. <laughs> I don't really know him. <laughs> I don't think I've ever sat down You've and had a cup of coffee with Nicholas Cage. You've seen reviews and... You know, to be Talk quite to uh, honest with you, I did enjoy Nicolas Cage in this movie. Yes, right. And to be honest with you, the only other role I think I've ever enjoyed him in a movie is uh, Raising Arizona. Really? Other than that... <laughs> Not leaving Las Vegas? <laughs> leaving Las Vegas? I don't recall that one. Sorry. Do you goes, recall that one? The one where he goes to no. Las Vegas to drink himself to death? Uh, I don't think I've seen it. Be friends with Hooker, yeah, yes, sir. What about uh, you? Do you remember? No. He's been a lot of other mo good movies too. Adaptation, Face Off. Face Off. Where did that come from? Did you just hear He's a name? That. No. Oh, lo no. and behold, here we got our guest speaker, Mrs. Erica, Erica Ellis, also known as Queen of Albany. <laughs> Please come to the stage. Hello, and how are you? Hi, I'm good. Uh, you went and saw this movie with us. I did. Did you enjoy the time spent with us, personally? I enjoyed the movie. Mm, how about the popcorn? The popcorn <laughs> was good. I didn't popcorn, have anything okay. to drink, though, so... Mm -hmm. That was... That could be a downer. You didn't buy a touchy. drink? No. No, I didn't buy her a drink. I did bring okay, my own no, water bottle. On. She didn't have it. <laughs> moving on, I would have electric powers. Like, I could point at someone, yeah. and they'd be electrocuted. What? Why, like, do you, especially why would when, you want electric? when they, like, slowed me up in traffic and stuff. Hmm. Could you show a little bit of a display on that? How you would electrocute this man? With your yeah. powers? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it works! Okay, anyway. Uh, how, did you, how did you feel about the movie? I really um, liked it. I cool. thought it was kind of gruesome. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was mm. kick-ass. What do you think of Hit Girl? Was she your favorite character? Yes, of course yeah. she was. She's kind yeah, of a star of the movie. She was also kind of sad, a little sad. Yeah, she was depressing, but yeah. And yeah. a little pigtail, a little sad. Huh. Did you think that uh, having a girl at such a young age depict such violent and gruesome scenes with all the filthy language? was maybe <laughs> inappropriate like mr who was it siskel roger Ebert. oh ebert okay i've watched movies where little girls get shot in the head mm -hmm. that wow. may be inappropriate <laughs> at least she didn't die oops i can't say that <laughs> <laughs> she might die she might not <laughs> and she is the most violent <laughs> 11 year old 11 year old i've trend. ever seen in a movie yeah. for sure mm -hmm. Well, it's not a problem unless we start hearing about new kind of girls taking bad guys out in the real world and I'm stabbing them with the knives. Erica, what do you think of Nicholas Cage? Yeah, I thought it was because he had a little twist. And he was funny about that. Uh, he, he was not a very good father for you. No, <laughs> it, yeah, it depends on how you look at it. He seemed to be very nurturing in the ways that he taught her how to be a better person. Okay, it's a person this is silly and boring. I don't think anyone wants to watch this, so I'm out. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Okay. Bye, bye. Is it funny that Nicholas Cage is suddenly making good movies again?